ከነሽ ካውዲና ሞንቺ ቴስ ውጀጣን ከሄች ወጋን ለሙ ምርታ ከተውጀጡ ጀማን ነው የሚመገኑ ካለ ያን This is Lemi Setucho Kabele a Wereda located in Doyogena in southern Ethiopia Doyogena is home to several smallholder farmers like Adisu The farmers here rely on crop production alongside the rearing of cattle and small ruminants However several factors are posing a threat to agriculture Kanich biren abish ke ech kabadon ulla yoy abish sagadita ulla butlan ke ech maraman ke ech tan ya noik Agricultural production is not increasing substantially enough to feed the growing population. Most farmers in Doyogena operate on small plots of land averaging less than 0.5 hectares. Additionally, the area also experiences one of the highest cases of land degradation. Cause of land degradation is there are many causes, population pressure, climate change, overuse of natural resources, and that lead to soil erosion loss of soil carbon the reduction of yield and the likes these effects of land degradation in turn result in low crop and pasture productivity climate change further aggravates the problem through irregular rainfall patterns such as droughts and heavy rainfall all of this adversely affects the livelihood of farmers who are dependent on rain-fed agriculture The Icar project is working on different types of innovations in different sites across six countries in Africa, with Doyogena being one of them. We have developed technologies, land management options, and other solutions to tackle causes of land degradation and to reduce the impacts of those degradation processes. Some of the major ones include sustainable land management, climate smart agriculture, improved agricultural practices, water harvesting and water development uh, mechanisms at these sites interaid partnering with icra alliance biodiversity international and ciet ilri and the ministry of agriculture has been implementing locally relevant climate smart agriculture practices which are being tested and promoted the first step involved a participatory and local knowledge approach to identify the dominant problems that need to be tackled Climate smart agriculture also needs to be site specific meaning those technologies that work in Dabrahan may not work in the, in Wasana and vice versa so we have to contextualize to contextualize we do reviews and we also participate in approach with the local community because they also know what best works for them Several CSA practices such as integrated soil and water conservation which uses measures like bunds and terraces integrated with forage crops, controlled grazing, improved varieties, crop rotation, crop residue, green manure, integrated soil fertility management, agroforestry and cut and carry system were implemented. The best way of tackling land degradation is implementing technologies following the landscape continuum. You know, the landscape has its own configuration. You have highland, midland, lowland, and the valley. On the upper part of the landscape, we do agroforestry practices. Then in the middle, we do terraces, soil bands, water harvesting technologies, and so on. And at the lower part, we do different crop management, diversification, and sustainable intensification of cropping systems. The Mirtas Asich, Hititamo EBKH, Kun Hasisano Nakana Geke Rose Shotawa. እሺ ከኮን ካላ ነው ሳይታ ያምግን አንድ ኢቦኮ አቅቄቼ ተከታባ ከተጀመረም areas where the project was implemented or learning landscapes showed over 60% decline in soil erosion 40% reduction in discharge yield gain of up to 45% gain in soil moisture enhancement of soil organic carbon stock and gain in biodiversity currently 37,712 smallholder farmers have accessed bundled CSA technologies for the rehabilitation of degraded landscapes. Danama laut tesu ko la ma barga ke kech bakkani si barga ke wona laut ech. Wona laut ech bakkani barga ke. In addition to maintaining terraces, the desho grass serves as fodder for livestock production. The availability of sufficient cultivated green feed enabled farmers to increase their milk productivity. Soil bunds and growing improved grass and fodder trees along terraces helps to harvest green feed year round and to practice a cut and carry system. Wona lalaka de abasha lalukya yoi mateletiroch woy letiru bakkaninet matobaren turamano. Tesa munchi habdo lich lalaka de ittar dakkino michi suwa shakinen matobarena munchi wode onti tana lehilletiro turama yoga lauta dakkinen. 
Zahainesh is a farmer who lives in the same village as Adisu. After seeing the changes in his life, she and her husband started to practice the lesson on their own. After cultivating improved grass on conservation structures, families like Sahainish's were enabled to increase milk yield. From the sale of fresh grass, farmers also earn up to 24,000 Ethiopian bir per year. The availability of sufficient cultivated green feed helps to improve the cattle's body performance and allows farmers to earn more than 50% price incremental per year. <laughs> ICRA and Alliance of Biodiversity and SEAT's training provided technical supports and capacity building at various stages of the exercises. InterAid played a prominent role in mobilizing resources, coordinating technology selection, and implementing CSA practices in the Doyogena site. The objective of uh, uh, this institutional innovation is to bring in all actors uh, to engage on the project intervention, especially mobilizing the uh, traditional organization like it, club leaders, uh, peer educators, uh, bringing them to uh, engage on the Kabele level task force, uh, starting from planning, implementation, and the monitoring and uh, also lesson learning process. Increasing the availability of cultivated fodder enabled farmers to generate a substantial income from the sale of fodder grass and increased milk production. The increasing crop yield has also enabled farmers to benefit from nutritious food throughout the year. The project is very interesting in a way that it brings different actors together. It tries to address very important issues in terms of managing land and water. It only it focuses on not to study, to review, but to implement on the ground with the community, with the, with the partners. Through ICRA's additional funding, there is a plan to increase access, uptake, use and scaling of CSA and CIS technologies by beneficiaries and end users.